Pine Lake. J Rock has come back to you too. What is happening? Man, 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 with the millions and millions of J Rock's fans from all over the world, J Rock is here because. J Rock has to react and respond to what transpired on yesterday. A sad day in American history, U.S. history, and I would just like to say that I would like to cancel my subscription to 2021. I did not like the seven day trial, and I'd like to cancel. Thank you very much. Just when you thought we were going to be getting away from all the chaos and hell that transpired in 2020, Oh, does chaos and hell not really give a damn? What day it is, what year it is, it's coming no matter what. And yesterday was another example of exactly this, that man's greatest enemy is himself. Man's greatest adversary is not the devil, it's himself. The devil has no power to make anybody do anything. Oh, but man can choose to do a whole lot of things. Let's take a look at one of those things man decided to do yesterday. Despicable. Continue to make their way up to the Capitol in this protest. Uh, Brett Baer, I believe you're still there. It is interesting that what um, the yeah. gentleman from Tampa just told Griff Jenkins he came to the Capitol because the president said something big was going to happen, and they're just finding out that Mike Pence is, is going to certify the electoral results, um, and I'm sure that would be a big disappointment to a lot of people that came for this rally. Yeah, we should say that, you know, as we're saying it's peaceful, we're seeing the out images on the outside. We are having a couple of reports of people being injured uh, in this breach of the security, and that there may be a Capitol Hill police officer uh, we're getting confirmation of that, but protesters, Dana, have made their way inside the Capitol, and you're seeing the this police presence increase on the outside, but there are people inside the actual uh, Capitol building just outside the Senate chamber, and both the House and Senate have, have now uh, adjourned or paused this entire process because of the security concerns. Uh, U.S. Capitol Police is inside uh, the chamber and the lawmakers are told to shelter in place. They're now setting up a perimeter, we're told, around uh, the Capitol. But you see the steps there on the top. There are all those folks in there. Uh, there are people who have made their way into the building itself. Now, in this environment, Chad can tell you, it is usually very, very secure and uh, intensely secure. Uh, you have to question where, where all that security is, uh, but the protesters have gone through on both sides of the Capitol into the Capitol itself, and that's a good shot of uh, the steps on the east side. Mm -hmm. To echo Martha's uh, observation, this is remarkable. These images have not been seen in my lifetime, that's for sure. Chad Pergram has an update for us now. Chad, uh, what's new? Well, as Brett alluded to, and we just got notification here from the Capitol Police that there is a threat inside, you know, I could watch the House floor and I could see some of the floor staff running. I, you just don't see that inside the House chamber, uh, indicating that there was a concern about the threat inside the building. The House and Senate both within a couple of moments ago recessed subject to the call of the chair. So they have, you know, suspended the joint session and then the independent separate sessions where they debate the electoral slate of votes from Arizona have been suspended as well. They would only only do this in the most extreme of circumstances. You know, we've had some instances here on Capitol Hill before. A couple of years ago, when the president was here, uh, there was an interloper who got into the building, was using uh, an inappropriate pass, and come in through the Rayburn House office building inside, uh, got into the Capitol through the underground tunnels, and was there with the press corps when the president of the United States was here. There was another person back when they were building the Capitol Visitor Center in 2006 who crashed their car into the construction area and ran up the the steps and ran into the Capitol. I should note now that the House of Representatives has just come back into session. Jim McGovern, Democrat from Massachusetts, is presiding, and they will resume with the Electoral Count Act here, or the, the, the certification of the Electoral College and the dispute over Arizona. What I was going to say earlier, and this is what is so remarkable about what's going on outside, 
During the inauguration of President Obama, there was one fellow who got in kind of past where he needed to be and climbed up a tree and was there and yelling during the entire inauguration ceremony. And they continued, the U.S. Capitol Police made a decision it was going to cause more of a disruption to get him out of that tree, whether or not to leave them up there. So sometimes they do give people a little bit of deference, but what you had here is people surging up from the mall side of the Capitol, getting right close to the building. Really since 9-11, they have had that perimeter around the west front of the Capitol closed off for years now. You just can't get that close to the Capitol. Uh, certainly during some protests a few years ago, you had some people come in and, and do a little bit of graffiti on the building, but that was pretty minor. This is something different. You know, back in yeah. March, you had a fellow on the House side who scaled the side of the building, got up onto a balcony. This is on the House side, not far from uh, the House Chamber and where Statuary Hall is, kind of the area between the old House Chamber and the current House Chamber, and actually broke a window. He never actually got into the building, but was on this exterior balcony, kind of went up the wall like, like Spider-Man. So, you know, to have, you know, it's one thing to have one person do that. It's another thing to have another surge of people do this as well. Uh, you know, and I was asking Capitol security officials for days whether or not they were, they were concerned about things here, and the thing that kept coming back to me was the issue of a lone wolf. Uh, they really didn't seem to be too concerned about the overall, you know, uh, size of crowds. They deal with crowds here on a regular basis, but if you have someone who has gotten into the building, or if there is a threat inside the building, maybe there's a device or something like that. You know, back in the 1980s, there was a bomb which exploded just outside the Senate chamber. No one was injured. It was late at night. So they have had those instances here at the Capitol, Dan. All right, Chad, thank you so much. Yesterday, we saw a prime example of evilness and wickedness and iniquity in the heart of men. Notice I've never said sin. There are two different Greek words and Hebrew words for sin and iniquity. And they are very two different things. And let me explain it like this. Yeah, I'm getting biblical because we need God, we need Jesus now, probably now more than we ever have. And don't get twisted. This ain't going to stop. This is not stopping. Uh, but let me explain for those of you who are wondering the difference between sin and iniquity. Let's say, for example, you have a target, right? And you got to hit the mark on the target. There's a mark on the target you got to hit. And if you hit this mark, you get a prize. Well, sin is if I take a bow and arrow or a gun, either or, and I shoot it at the target and I miss the mark. That's sin. I didn't just miss the mark, I missed the mark of the prize. There was a prize I was aiming for that I missed. That's sin. Iniquity is completely different. Iniquity is when you got the same target, same amount of distance from you, same bow and arrow, same bullet, except your bow is crooked or the barrel of your gun is crooked. And for those of you who shoot bow and arrows or have ever shot a gun, you know that if your bow is crooked or if your uh, chamber in that gun is off, even by a little bit, you are going to completely miss the target by yards. That's the difference between sin and iniquity. And yesterday you saw crooked hearts storming the Capitol building simply because they believed the election was stolen from a psycho whose name is Donald Trump. This guy, and I don't, I don't do politics. Right? I don't I, I don't I don't care about politics. Politics is simply about money, power. It's really all it's about. It's not really about people and helping folks. It's about people hiding behind policies and 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 laws made to protect folks more so than the innocent people. And yesterday was another example of that because I remember at the Black Lives Matter rally, 
people were protesting in the streets. Nobody stormed any Capitol buildings. And they had tear gas, rubber bullets. Also, Donald Trump can get a photo op in a church holding the Bible upside down. Hmm. But these folks stormed the Capitol building. And let's just be clear. I don't know who you support. Trump, Biden, my opinion, neither one of them are fit to run the office. Right? Neither one of them. But regardless of who you support, who you vote for, I don't give a damn your Trump supporters, Biden supporters, Antifa, Antifa, Black Lives Matter, Trump rally. This is sick. It's sick on a whole nother level. Now, maybe it's about the, the, the election was rigged. Maybe it's about people trying to take over the government. It don't matter. This is sick. Regardless of why you're doing what you're doing, this is not a peaceful protest. But there are some people who will defend them by, in many cases, defend it by not saying a word at all. Now, I want to be clear. I'm not saying that, you know, everybody that was involved in this was a Trump supporter. Because I know some Trump supporters, personally, who voted for him, support him, but wouldn't do this. They, they, they wouldn't have no part in this. And this is... So, so I want to make sure that I'm not uh, including them in this because this is wicked, evil, debaucherous, and it's sad. Everybody been saying, look, if it was a bunch of black folks storming the Capitol building, it didn't even have to be as many. Just a group, a smaller group of black folks trying to storm the Capitol building. And Lord, and God forbid if it would have been a mob of black folks. Oh, they'd have, man, they'd have gunned them down on sight. But who, and I'm not even going to blame Trump 100%. He does have some culpability here. Because this man has been inciting violence in roundabout, twisted ways ever since he started running for office. But... The fact of the matter remains is that Donald Trump can't make you do something you didn't already want to do. Now, sure, he can stir the pot. He can throw gas on the fire. But unless something is truly in your heart to want to do it, you're not doing it. Because, again, like I said, I know some Trump supporters, they, they wouldn't be involved in this. They, they like, this is nuts, man. Count me out. Oh my God. Come quickly, Lord. This is ridiculous. And people were saying how the police failed. No, they didn't. Police didn't fail. Police did exactly what they're designed to do. You want to understand how policing works in this country? There's something in uh, when you're studying the Bible called the law of first reference. Meaning, if you ever want to understand something in the Bible, go back to the very first time it happened in the scripture. So if you want to understand policing in this country, go back to the very first time policing was established. And you will realize it wasn't called police. It wasn't about protecting and serving and upholding the law, serving the public trust, protecting the innocent. No! It was slave capture. It was meant for black and brown people to be caught who were trying to escape to be caught, many of which were killed, hanged, lynched, Do you smell what many have taken back to their plantations. It was meant to slay a king. So the heart of policing has visited upon generation to generation. The word says iniquity uh, will be visited upon every generation. The thoughts, the ideas, the beliefs, the habits are passed on from one generation to the next. If you got somebody that don't like black people, they're going to teach their children not to like black people. 
and then their grandchildren are not going to like it, and so on and so forth. And these are people who are elected to be in uh, offices, who are put in positions of power, who have wealth. And they are making these laws. They have badges and guns, and they have the power to take lives with prejudices in their hearts towards a certain color of people. And it all started with slave cats. They acted the way they were supposed to, taking selfies. You even see videos of police letting them in. I saw police running away. I saw police who had their hands on their guns, never pulled them out. And why weren't they uh, fear? Why didn't they fear for their life? Because according to uh, the police uh, laws, if you will, they are allowed to use deadly force if there be a threat, either real or imagined. You trying to tell me they didn't think there was a threat here? They confiscated guns. You can see people had guns. People were stealing property, breaking windows, breaking in offices, putting their seats up on Senate tables. They were in Nancy Pelosi's office. Just having a good old time. I, I figured it was only a matter of time before somebody brought a grill in. They just gonna start barbecuing like they uh, at a football game or something, tailgate. This is a disgrace, and it just further proves that we live in two different Americas. All right, two different Americas. I realize that there are some white folks who are sick and tired of what's going on in this country. And then you have those who think there's nothing wrong with what's happening. So I say this, regardless of where you stand or who you support, there's a way to do something, there's a way not to do it. Parents always told me, son, there's there's no right way to do wrong. Do you smell what the rock is cooking? You're wrong, you're wrong. No matter why you did it, you're wrong. You're still wrong. And they may feel that the election was stolen from Trump. I've yet to see any evidence of that, but that's what they feel. I guess they, Donald Trump believe there's no way possible he could lose the election fair and square. Apparently he has not been paying attention to what's going on. He's too busy looking at numbers. Numbers don't always tell you the truth. But what do I know? All I know is that this ain't gonna stop. This is not going to stop. Regardless of who and how you voted, not gonna matter. Like I said, I don't think Joe Biden's fit to be in the, the presidency seat no more than Trump did. Right? But God is still on the throne. I don't worry about who's the president. And I, but I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that everything is gonna be okay. I don't think it is. I don't think everything's gonna be okay. In the end it will be. But right now, you got to go through some stuff. Mainly, you got to deal with these uh, jackasses who think that they can storm a federal building. This ain't Popeyes or KFC. This ain't some fast food restaurant, some mom and pop shop, some flower shop down on the corner of Know Your Old Boulevard, Jabroni Drive. It's a federal building. Maybe the second most important federal building in this country. And they stormed it like it was nothing. Like it was nothing. Sadly, four people were shot. Uh, one lady was shot and killed. Some other people were fatally injured. I even saw folks in a wheelchair like, how the hell y'all get up there? How y'all get up the steps? Somebody push you up the ramp? Why are you there? crazy man but fortunately we'll see if Joe Biden keeps his word apparently he said if, if, if the Democrats won in Georgia which they did 
he was going to make sure everybody got them $2,000 checks. Yeah, I believe it when it's in my account. When I can see it for myself, then I'll believe it. But, shouts out to all the NBA players, all the professional athletes who speak out and who are actually working behind the scenes, folks like LeBron and others, trying to put together some real uh, roots that can help bring about change. Not all this, these mouths, people just wearing shirts and, you know, posting stuff on social media, always sad, and then they just go back to their regular lives. People are actually out here doing something. Right? And I encourage you guys, understand this. Change, you can see change at the polls, but you gotta understand one thing. Politics is about money and power. People with the power have the money, and people with the money have the power. And until we change how we spend our money, who we give our dollars to, that's when you're going to see real change. When these billionaires start looking at their balances and they're seeing they got more going out than they do have coming in, that's when you're going to get their attention. Because that's the God they serve. For the love of money brings forth all kinds of evil. What you're seeing right here. But I'm going to keep praying, keep believing, keep following the Lord. You guys make sure you subscribe to the People's Channel. Whether you agree or disagree with my, me or not, that's fine. I don't mind people disagreeing with me. Now, if you're going to start name calling and all that crap, I'm a grown man, bro. Go on somewhere with that. Say high school. All right? You want to disagree, that's fine. I don't mind that. But I'm not going to get into this back and forth with all you jabroni candy asses out there. Know your role and shut your mouth. Alright? My channel ain't that big yet, but I do not mind blocking folks and telling you to kick rocks with no shoes on. Alright? Post your comments down below. And let J-Rock know what you thought of this reaction to this video. No rhyme intended on that line. And if you enjoyed the Great Ones reaction, make sure you hit that like button, you subscribe, and you share. Alright? If you have a reaction request, video you want me to check out, put it in the comment section down below. If I choose your video, I'll give you a shout out. Lastly, be sure to hit that bell so you can be notified when it is time to be electrified. Thank you for joining J-Rock. Until next time. Mamba, GG, and Wakanda forever. Here's your smell! Wow! J-Rock!